Good morning, good morning again. Another glorious and wonderful day, and I have got a word for you today. You know, I don't know if I have shared this before, because I think about it every once in a while, and it seems like I have Sophia, come join me. I have a guest speaker today. Say hi, Sophie. Hello. So, it seems like I repeat a lot of the same things when I'm sharing. And you know, that's not wrong. I heard it once said that you need to walk in the light that you have and God will give you more. Meaning you don't need to jump to great, amazing revelations again and again and again, trying to search out the deep things and get the newest, most amazing revelation. You need to stick with what you have and grow into more. Let God reveal things to you. That's why it's called revelation. It's not called I dug it out and I shaped it myself and I found this, look what I found, this amazing thing in the scripture. Now God reveals things to you and sometimes it's wow, like earth shaking, but a lot of times it's line upon line and precept upon precept. It's step by step, finding something a little bit here and a little there and you keep growing in it. And one of the things that I like to chew on a lot is in Psalm 91, and verse 9, it says, Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High your dwelling, there shall no evil befall you. Neither shall any plague come near your tent. That is a good word. Isn't that a good word? A plague, no plague, no evil. That means bad. Evil just means bad. Because you've made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High your dwelling, nothing bad is going to happen to you. That's a pretty bold... <laughs> She's disappearing into the night. That's a pretty bold statement, and it's good. Neither shall any plague come near your tent. Not a single plague, sickness, or disease will come near, even close to your tent, to your house, to this physical house, and to the house that you live in here, you know, the, the other physical house. But then I continue reading. It's good to continue reading and to tie scriptures together. Why? Why is the, there no evil befalling you, nor any plague come near in your tent? It also says, For he shall give his angels charge over you, to guard you in all your ways. They shall bear you up in their hands, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent. You shall trample underfoot. It struck me one day that the angels that God gives charge over us are involved in keeping us healthy. They're involved in our healing and our health. That's an important thing. I know we put our faith in God. We put our faith in our Lord Jesus as our healer. We're not out just praying for angels to do something, but we have confidence in what the Word says. Otherwise, he wouldn't have even talked about it. And he says in Psalm 103, Bless the Lord, you his angels, who excel in strength. They're mighty in strength, and they do his Word. They do what God says. So we can have confidence today. We can have faith today. We have an expectation today that God has sent angels who are right here, who are moving in the earth and going back and forth between the Father and the earth, and who are bringing things involved in our healing. That same healing and protection that keeps any evil, any bad from befalling us. We set our faith on that and keeps all plagues away from our house. Amen. Be blessed.